Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at McAfee's uh, Ransomware Interceptor. Now it's a free tool that you can download and uh, it's in pilot at the moment as you can see. So uh, we're going to give it a little test anyway. So you can see here, this is how you use it. You can download it from here and uh, it gives you all the information that you do need. And it's basically uh, a whitelisting system here. You can see whitelist the file, monitoring, stop monitoring, and so on. So we're going to give it a little go and see how it fares against some ransomware. You can see it says ransomware locky, Tesla crypt, and so on. So we'll give it a quick go. I've already got it installed on the system. Now I have turned off uh, the other antivirus that comes with this uh, computer, which is our Windows Defender. I've got this turned off already. Let's just make sure. Okay, it's off. Let's just make sure these are off as well. Okay. Okay, so down the bottom right hand corner here, you'll see there's a little McAfee uh, icon here. I've not used McAfee in a long time, any of their products. Um, but you can see here, this is basically you right, right click on this. And it gives you a start monitoring, stop monitoring. You can see it's running already. A whitelist the file and a view detection log and about, which pretty much uh, gives you some information here. Okay, so we can see the ransomware interceptor running here. So let's have a look here and see what goes on when we start clicking on some of these. So let's have a look at some Tesla crypt here. And uh, we'll click on some of these. And you can see Tesla Crypt starting to run. And you can see straight away that uh, McAfee Ransomware Interceptor has detected this. This file has not been deleted. Now if we look here, it's just basically terminated its process. So we'll do another one. And you can see here, the file has not been deleted. It's just terminated that process there. So it does well on Tesla Crypt. As you can well see. You can see the files are still here, it's not deleting those. So let's try something else. Let's try McTub. You can see the file here. And uh, McTub has been stopped. As you will see. Let's have a go at CBT Locker. Straight away, as you can see here, that has been blocked. And again, it's not deleted the uh, file. Does a pretty good job. Let's move on to. Uh, server here good job been deleted there or stopped I should say let's have a look at septo you can see it here running the file has been detected Nothing from uh, McAfee as of yet. And it has now. Terminated that process. File still intact, of course. So let's continue on here. So we've got, um, I think I just did the uh, server free. Let's try this one, server free. And there you can see it running. Been detected by virus total. Let's 
it wants to run. You can say yes, it's been detected and stopped and terminated. As you can see. So McAfee's done a great job. McAfee ransomware interceptor's done a great job at blocking those from running. Um, let's have a look here at Crypto Locker. Straight away, that has been terminated. Uh, we'll go Crypto Wall this time. Got a few of these here. Straight away, you can see they're being blocked instantly. So I've added a couple of more on here. We've got the new locky one here, which I wanted to test. And again, as you can see, it stopped that. Let's try Holy Crypt. Hold on a second. We've got something running here. That was the uh, new locky. Says it's been suspended here, as you can see. It's just trying to deal with this uh, one here. Okay, so this is still running here, as you can see. And if we look at that, that is in the actual temp area this file so we can see that was the new locky which is in the temp folder which is here but I think it suspended the the process here but you can see it's uh, right there and there's been a bunch of stuff going on here and also I noticed that inside the documents area it's attempted to drop its file into here but it's been blocked here the encryption files have not happened yet so it's not encrypted my data it's still okay as you can see the files have not been encrypted here so that's okay at the moment it's still running there which is a bit of a concern but it hasn't killed that process We'll give it a bit of time. But in the meantime, what I'll do is I'll just want to quickly. Uh, that was the new locky one, and there we have it. It's been blocked now. It has been blocked. Let's see. It's been terminated. It took a bit of time to terminate that, but it did manage to do it. Um, so fair play. Let's just quickly check here. Now, it has dropped a few of these files here. I can see Zepto has actually managed to de uh, encrypt files here. Pictures. It didn't do the pictures. It stopped it before it could do vast amounts of damage. So it said, let it do some. But not a lot. See the file set it did it managed to probably get one file there and then it blocked it. Which is a bit of a concern, but obviously it's completely stopped it from encrypting the whole computer, which is a good thing. So let's move on to the uh this one here. Exotic. You can see that's blocked that as well. I think we did only crypt, I think. Oop. Black screen from Holy Crypt. Exotic managed to put a file on the desktop here. Exotic managed to get a file here, 
but it didn't encrypt no data. It was captured before that happened. And you can see all these files are still not encrypted. None of this stuff's encrypted. Just the screen went black, so it's done. Managed to change your screen black, but it's uh, stopped the encryption process. But pretty much you can see a pretty good job from uh, McAfee. Let me just try Petcher. We'll try the red one. It's running. You can see here. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no, Petcher got through. As you can see. So basically, this is what Petcher does. It's uh, doing its deed on the computer now. Uh, so it didn't block Petcher, but it done a very good job at blocking everything else. Um, and no, no software is 100% perfect, but there, but I mean, that done a pretty good job there. And you can see we now have Petcher on the system. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. I think that's been a pretty good test uh, from McAfee Ransomware Interceptor. Done a pretty good job up until the Petra one. Remember, this is still in pilot mode. I'm going to wrap this one up. My name is Brian from BrotechComputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Or also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Also, if you've got any video requests or you want to join the community or you want to chat, then head over to the forums. And also, if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page and you use Facebook, then pop over there and give us a little like up over there. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great weekend, and I shall see you again in the next video. Bye for now.